What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's at the town. Taking right back again for another Turok Evolution. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We're finally back. Finally back. Finally back. But there are quite a few things I actually want to talk about. First and foremost, of course, I've put on like all the cheats now because I honestly don't care anymore. Like seriously, that's that's how I always played this game as a kid and. Ultimately, that's what I want to kind of talk about today because it's not really die dinosaur it, Today's not really about even playing this game today I want to actually just talk about kind of like the history of Turok and I guess just my personal experiences with the series and stuff like that or not the series I mean, I mean like the franchise not like my let's play series or anything like that, right? Uh, because ultimately I'm sorry to say Ladies and gentlemen, that this is probably going to be the last episode because I don't see myself actually finishing this game. Uh, when Turok 2 came out, it set a whole new standard for me for gaming and stuff like that. And I would still argue that it's one of the greatest shooters ever invented. And I'm not saying that based on like now where it's like, oh, you gotta go play it. This is the best shooter ever created. But you gotta think for the time. Now, I know a lot of people ended up growing up with Turok 1, actually. And... I mean, a lot of people actually didn't like what they did with Turok 2 because the game, uh, if for those that have played Turok 1 and 2, like you'll see the game kind of had a slower, more methodical way of playing the game. And then Turok 2 comes out and it was like all action all the time, right? And that kind of set a new standard for me. And the reason that I'm even mentioning that is because then here comes uh, Turok Rage Wars, which totally tricked me. When I bought that game, I thought it was Turok 3. And then I brought it home and it's like, no, this is multiplayer only. And it's like, oh, okay, I, I want to return this, right? So I ended up returning Rage Wars. And because at the time, like, I didn't really care because, you know, growing up with Johnny, like my brother, Captain Napkin and stuff, it's like, we're, we're not very competitive against each other. So versus games and stuff like that were never really popular in our household, you know? So never really got into Rage Wars. Uh, when we did actually do the series of it, though, it was actually pretty cool. I was surprised how tight that game was. And then... So, Turok 3 comes out, and I remember even then, like, I was hugely disappointed because... Although that game is okay, it's not like Turok 1 or 2. Like, you could already kind of tell that the company, Acclaim Entertainment, was going downhill. Now, at the time, the internet wasn't what it is today. Because I'm an old man, and things have changed. <laughs> the internet wasn't what it was. Uh, and so, because of that, like, I personally never actually knew until I started my Turok 2 series on YouTube, I didn't even know that Acclaim went out of business, you know? I didn't even know that they also ended up moving on, uh, a lot of the original members of the Turok team ended up moving on to, hello Chocobo for some reason! But they ended up moving on to the Metroid Prime games and stuff like that. So I was actually really excited about that because it also made a lot of sense why those games are so tight. Because those developers, man, like straight up, they were they were way ahead of their times. Hello, Chocobo! So anyway, Turok Evolution comes out. Uh, after Turok 3 being a huge letdown. And I get it. And I mean, honestly... I haven't really talked about it through the series because uh, if there's one thing that I've learned through doing Let's Plays and stuff, it's that you don't rip on the game. Uh, I used to do that with a lot of my earlier series and stuff like that, like when I played like Bioshock Infinite and even when I did like Far Cry 3 and stuff. Uh, the whole the whole time, regardless of me actually enjoying my experience with the game, I was I thought it was funny where I was sitting there saying, hey, this game sucks, oh, this game sucks for this reason, and blah, blah, blah. So... Uh, take it like this is this is just me personally saying Turok Evolution sucks like I, I know that some people this is probably like one of their favorite games and stuff like that and you know go ahead and have your opinion about that and everything I think we need to get like a couple keys here or something like that I'm not sure but for me Turok Evolution was just it was the worst Turok game I'd ever played you know like when this game came out it just was like I mean, look at it, you know, like every enemy in the game is a complete bullet sponge and all the levels are just a linear walk to the end, you know, and they also like do this way too much in this game where it's like you gotta go find all these keys and all this other garbage that you don't know where to go, like there's no actual direction and stuff, not to mention all these bushes and stuff, which were cool and I understand what they were going for, 
But it's like you gotta think for the time. Like it's like even even then, like all these bushes and shrubbery and stuff just always got in the way. Now, like I said. People can still like this game. Don't get me wrong. I seriously have no idea where to go, so I'm sorry about that, everybody. Uh, but just, you gotta think, like, it's like when when I was growing up, Turok 1, Turok 2, and Turok 2 actually single-handedly sold me on the entire franchise. Like, I still own, like, every Turok game. I still have my own original version of Evolution for the GameCube because at the time, Dan didn't have a PlayStation. Uh, I don't think it was for Xbox, was it? I don't think so. Uh, and then there was, oh, I think we need a third key. That's what's going on. Oh, jeez. This, <laughs> this sucks. Uh, so anyway, it came out and like, I, you know, I bought them all up because I kept thinking like, oh man, this, you know, Turok 3, this game sucks. When are they going to go back to what they were doing with Turok 2? When is the game going to get better and stuff like that? Turok Evolution comes out and I still have my fun with it. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't it wasn't the same you know and it makes sense because this game like for those that don't know I actually learned a lot through doing my Turok series on my channel and stuff like that where people were actually telling me how like uh, around Turok 3 is when the company was starting to go bankrupt and Turok Evolution they kind of just forced out as best as they could before the company actually went bankrupt and went under so that's why, like, they had to cut so many corners with this game. And you could kind of see, like, uh, not necessarily with this game, but if you look back at Turok 3, that was actually fantastic for the time. Like, the uh, the amount of, like, facial animation and cutscenes and stuff like that, it was ahead of the time. Because that's, that's getting into a narrative that a lot of first-person shooters didn't have. Can we just cheat and go through here? Like, seriously. I bet you anything we're supposed to go up in here, and it just didn't let us. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Or is there something over here? I don't even know. Uh, but anyway, I, I mean, I guess I guess it doesn't really matter. Because this is what I mean. Like, this, I can't be bothered to keep doing stuff like this in this series and stuff like that. But anyway, so Turok Evolution. And then after that, there was actually Turok 2008, which was a completely new company. And although that game was okay as just a random shooter and stuff, it was... Get up there, you fool. It was garbage as far as Turok is concerned. And I'm talking like a hardcore Turok fan. Like an old school... I mean... For crying out loud, the first cutscene in Turok 2008, like, straight up, actually, like, watch this if you can, because it's hilarious. From someone that comes from Turok 2, which had, like, the best weapons in any game. Like, that is something that hasn't been topped. You know, like, the, the just, oh man, like, the, even the tech bow was, like, it felt so good to kill things with it. And then here we've got, uh, Turok 2008. Excuse the beeping, dishwasher's done. Turok 2008 comes out, and within the first cutscene, like, I'm actually sitting there, and I'm kind of cringing, like, no. Within the first cutscene, the camera panders over a table that shows, like, five different weapons, and that is actually the entire arsenal for the game. And I, I remember specifically playing the game, and I called it right then and there. I was like, no, that's going to be all the weapons, isn't it? And sure enough, that was it. Besides, like, the uh, Proximity Mine remote exploding bomb or whatever like that. Which, again, was the only gun that could actually give enemies in that game. Otherwise, nothing else did. I mean, that's the thing, too. You look at this game, and it's like, you can kind of, like, the character models and stuff are just, like, it's weird how this game is on a later console, and it's not as good looking as Turok 2. Because Turok 2 was, that was ahead of its time. So much so that they, like... The amount of features and content that they actually put into that game is one of the reasons that I think the company ended up going bankrupt because they put they put everything into it. You know, it was like all or nothing, right? So anyway, with that all said and that all out of the way, we're getting on the 10 minutes mark and there's not really that much to say other than that. That's kind of like my personal experience with the Turok series and stuff like that. And as much as I know that there's lots of people that really like Turok Evolution and stuff like that, and I'm not trying to say that this game's like horrible and I hate it and stuff like that because it was a good game and I enjoyed it when I was growing up. But just compared to the other Turok series and compared to like Turok 2 especially, which is still one of my top favorite games, man, like straight up. Uh, but it's like this one was just, it's nothing, you know, like the enemies, like I said, it's bullet sponges and you just run to the end and you get to all these confusing things. And you gotta think too, like, I think that's the reason that I actually have no recollection or any idea where to go right now is because I didn't use walkthroughs at the time. So I kind of just figured it all out myself, right? And good luck with that. 
So anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. And that's going to be it for this series. So I'm sorry, everybody. I just wanted to make one last video to kind of cancel it all out and explain, like, what's actually going on with it. Because, I mean, right now, like, I, I got to focus my attention on a lot of other things, you know? Like, a lot of other series are actually being, like, they're getting a lot more attention for me. And I got I to gotta go where that is, you know? I got to go where Team Pixel is going. I got to evolve beyond games that I like and games from my childhood and stuff like that, you know? But every now and then, it's still good for me to do games like this where where I do get to play like a game just for myself and I guess Risen 3 is kind of the one that I'm doing for that right now and I'm also going to eventually start like I actually just bought like all the Splinter Cell games and those are another game that I don't talk about often but they're another game uh, right alongside the Turok franchise that was just huge for me like I love those games and it's disappointing that gaming has turned into what it has you know because I was really really hoping that the Turok games would end up making a comeback you know because I mean aside from Turok 2 I think the only other game that I've ever played was Gears of War that's the only other game where it had like such satisfying weapons you know and being able to just blast an enemy like the shotgun in Gears of War is just it's one of the best shotguns in any game because BAM and you blow the guy into a million chunks and the only other game that actually had something like that was Turok 2 because they had so many different death animations and stuff like that and that's why it was very disappointing for me to come to this game afterwards and find out that all you know the characters look like crap they do and you shoot their head off and they just kind of go bleh, 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 and it's just kind of weird you know <laughs> but anyway uh for those that are really into Turok Evolution, you know, go ahead, keep playing it. It's an awesome game, it really is, but uh, as far as the series and stuff is concerned, that's it, it's done, I gotta move on to other things. So thank you all so much, thanks everybody for uh, tuning into this episode, and thanks everybody that has been so supportive for me to doing all these Turok games. I mean, I personally wanted it to be a goal of mine to have every Turok series on my channel, but things kind of evolved differently than I expected and I gotta keep up <laughs> but anyway thank you all so much for watching I really do appreciate it if you wouldn't mind to sub smack that like button share favorite and subscribe to join team pixel sign on and stay epic everybody Believe in yourself.